Man United kicked off their pre-season tour with a 5-2 win over LA Galaxy and only two days later we're facing Real Salt Lake. Now Man United had two completely different 11s in the first and the second half against LA Galaxy and Jose Mourinho has already said that he's going to do the same thing again. He said he's going to play four at the back and he said he might give some kids five or ten minutes, so probably more towards the second half of the game. So who do I think is going to start for Man United in this game? Trying to get one of these predicted 11s right. It's very hard, but here is who I think is going to start. In goal, Sergio Romero just signed a new contract until 2021. Absolutely deserved. One of the best backup goalkeepers that we could ask for. He was fantastic when called upon last season, and I expect him to do the exact same this year. Now, right back, I've gone for Timothy Fosu Mensa, who I feel had a very good performance when he came on in the second half. He was trying to mirror Antonio Valencia, the barnstorming runs forward and the runs back as well. Got an assist for Anthony Martial, a very measured cross along the floor to him. And Fosu Mensa, I want to see him get a lot more game time this season. Tuan Sevi was the player that Mourinho called upon with the injury crisis last year. He made a good few appearances. I want to see the same thing happening for Fosu Mensa because he is an athlete and I really want to see him play. Now, in the middle, I've gone for Bay and Lindelof. It was Phil Jones and Chris Morning who started against LA Galaxy, and we're playing three at the back. But what Man United need to see is this partnership of Bay and Lindelof. We need to see it in action, and hopefully we will see it in this game against Real Salt Lake. Now, at left back, I've gone for Matteo Darmian. Shaw is injured. Demi Mitchell came on against LA Galaxy. Maybe he will start this game, and I'd be very happy if he did. But I think Mourinho is going to go for Matteo Darmian. He's Mr. Reliable as far as the second half of last season went. He was fantastic in the Europa League final, put in a good few appearances and performances at that position, and I think he'll play against Real Salt Lake. Now, in this formation, I've gone for a 4-3-3. I've gone for Michael Carrick as a defensive midfielder, with Paul Pogba and Andreas Pereira in front of him. Now, Carrick, he will be playing in this defensive midfield role. That is going to be his position this season. If he ever plays, he'll play in that defensive midfield role. So we need to see him get some game time this season. Uh, Paul Pogba, he didn't start against LA Galaxy. I want to see him start against Real Salt Lake. And I've gone for Andreas Pereira in a sort of central midfield role. He played as a sort of deep-lying playmaker against LA Galaxy, and it's not a position he is used to. But he played very, very well. Really calm on the ball, and that's what a defensive midfielder has to be. He has to be able to just drift past the player, look up and see the passes. And Andreas Pereira did that very well. But it's not getting the most out of his game. He's so much better going forward. So I'd rather see him in a sort of more advanced central midfield role and see what he can do from there. And as a front three, I've gone for Anthony Martial, Romelu Lukaku and Jesse Lingard. I feel they were both very good in that second half against LA Galaxy. Lukaku obviously didn't score, but he was making decent runs. It was a good save by the goalkeeper when he had his best chance. And it only, it'll only take one goal for hopefully the floodgates to open for Lukaku. But Martial, he looks so dangerous on the ball. Mkhitaryan was fantastic at carrying the ball, but when it, whenever it went to Martial, there was more of an end product on it. Obviously, Martial and Mkhitaryan both scored, so there's an end product there. Martial looked really dangerous. And so did Jesse Lingard, playing in a left wing-back role against LA Galaxy. Maybe he won't start this game because he started the last one. So who would you rather start there instead of Jesse Lingard? But the guy got two assists in the first half. Yes, he didn't... I don't, I don't know what to say about Jesse Lingard. It, just, it, it almost feels that no matter what he does, people want to slate him. No matter how well he plays, people want to slate him. And I don't really understand that. You know, that's not my point of view. But I put Jesse Lingard down here to start. But maybe you'll disagree with me. Let me know in the comments below, as always. But that is my predicted start at 11 for the game. In terms of a preview, I don't think there's any point in doing previews for preseason games. Because what are you previewing? It's a preseason friendly. There's nothing really to talk about. There's no context. The result doesn't matter. It's just about who plays and how they play. So we're not going to be doing any preseason previews. I don't really think there's any point in them. I don't want to waste your time. But that's the reason why we're not doing any previews at the moment. If you'd like us to, let me know in the comments and maybe we will. But until then, just get your start 11s down in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video, ladies and gents. I'll see you soon. Take it easy.